I'm not coming to complete you. If you're constantly just adding to my insecurities, adding to my self-doubt, adding to my negativities, I don't see the need of us being in that relationship. Because I'm telling like, does this guy know me being vulnerable is not a, a daily thing? You can't continue putting constant pressure on relationships not working when you're not putting in the work, you know. The work I felt like having that other person will fill that void that I, re that I didn't even realize was there, you get. Like, I just knew. Okay, I'm not saying you end up alone because at the end of the day, I also don't want to end up alone, you get. But... to my youtube channel it's a girl christine hi how you doing hope you're all doing well and you're growing and glowing that is the aim of this channel remember we said so so welcome back to my youtube channel guys hope you've been doing well i've personally been doing well i know last week i didn't do an upload on Thursday, and i am so 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 sorry for that but i i kind of had a brain freeze Yes, I was not thinking. <laughs> I had no content. And uh, if you know me, you know quite well I prefer not doing content at all than bringing you guys just trashy content you get. Like, I I like giving value to you guys being here. Yeah, so it's all about the quality. So I'm really sorry about that. And uh, yeah, you know, sometimes it just happens, you get. But I am glad to be with you here today. I hope you all have been well. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kristen. Yes, I'm the owner of this channel. <laughs> so say hi down there so that we get to welcome you officially to this squad. And come away with me, Makurudi, if you're a returning subscriber. Man, thank you. I love you. I love you so much. And thank you for the support. Thank you for the... Thank you for always having my back, for coming back for more. I don't take it for granted one day. So, yeah. So, on today's topic, you see, we were having a girls, girls, I wouldn't call it a girls night because it stands to a two, two, three day vacation, lol. Um, so, I saw my friend last week and we are having this girls night, girls, yeah, it turned out to be a two day thing. <laughs> So as we were speaking with my dear darling friend, no, shout out to Victoria, um, so many things came into mind, like the way I was making her understand how I feel I have grown like a lady, how I feel that I am able to communicate more, how I feel that I'm able to not take just anything, just the bare minimum you get. Like my self-realization at this stage in time has gotten to a very different level than it was Kitambo. Okay, in the context of relationships. So as um as I can say, let's say like dating in my earlier years and dating right now. Yeah, I'm 24, I'm 24, I began dating, I guess, 19, 19, so that is like uh, five years, yeah, in and out, Kitukamaya. But one thing that's uh, solid about me, I've never been like, out of those people, the people I can say like, I like, give my heart to, I like two, three, you know, those you can call it true relationships and all of that stuff. And one thing that I felt like, like right now, I'm not in that headspace to be in a relationship is the fact that why, why should I be in a relationship with you? You see, like, what are you bringing in the to the table? I believe Kitambo, we were, I was one of those people, I won't lie, to some extent, I thought relationships would complete me, like they would give me a sense of belonging because I was you guys have uh, seen, like in my previous video and all of that stuff, I had trauma. I was dealing with trauma one way or another, like childhood trauma, I was having trauma, I was, um, I was lacking in so many different sectors, so I felt like having that other person, like that significant other, will fill a void. Does it make sense? I hope it does. So I felt like having that other person will fill a void that I that I didn't even realize was there, you get. Like I just knew I had a voice inside me that had to be completed. But one 
thing. The other significant other would either come with a, hmm, problems of his own, for example, would either come over with a way to demoralize me, would either come into a, with a way of making me feel little, making me feel less. Like when I spoke, actually when I spoke, <laughs> They kind of felt, in, felt intimidated because I've ever find, found myself in a situation where we clicked with somebody and it was really, really good one month. And actually the next step was a relationship because the dating phase, like, it was going on pretty well. So it was significant. This is going to be like the guy I want to spend time with, the guy I want to be with. Imagine the guy got cold feet, guys. Like, he really, like, got cold feet and just did a complete 180 on me <laughs> and one or another it affected me because i'm feeling like does this guy know me being vulnerable is not a, a daily thing like it's not a daily i'm not usually vulnerable that i can tell you that you have seen here with the videos i've been doing with even brand that you have seen here with even the videos I've been doing with Brian. There's this video we did when where he was teaching me about about vulnerability because guys, um that is just not me. I'm a very anxious lover, I'm a very my attachment style is basically just anxious. So I'm just those anxious people. Sometimes I'm there, sometimes I'm just not there. And coming to the realization of uh, I'm at a point where I do not feel like it's a basic need <laughs> that I helped Kitambo. It actually feels like I have grown. I have really, really grown. You get? And I wish we would do that like so many of us. Like, I think we live in a society where so many people have been put on the bridge, called as easy ladies, to mimic you or to figure out that you need somebody to complete you, in which you don't. You do not, you do not really help. You can be yourself and be happy. You can have friends. You can have, you can find a hobby. You can do so many things. Okay, I'm not saying you end up alone because at the end of the day, I also don't want to end up alone. You get. But how many times has it gotten to the point that a girl is saying that really, Relationship is not my end goal. Most of the time, they say that you see, but how many girls stand and say relationship is not my end goal? Like I feel like I am complete alone. You get like relationship. If I am to get into a relationship, there must be a very good reason. You know, my friends find it quite weird that I can be with somebody this way. Can next week I'm not with the person like. Thing is, when you are getting to know somebody, you have these specifics. You have what you want, you have what you will take and what you won't take. Most of the time, I think, people show us their true colors and we just suck them in and pretend like you didn't see it for the sake of now getting because you have idealized the, the person you want in your head without seeing like the direct thing that this person is full of shit and just moving on to the next one, to the next thing, nini, nini, you get. So me, I feel like we live in a society that to shut the care pressure, at the end of the day, I must be in a relationship. And I feel like we must break this norm. We must find value of being in a relationship. We must find value of having that significant other. If they are not adding to the table, why have them? Most of the time, <laughs> we are asked what we bring to the table. But what if you ask the other person what they bring to the table? You see, like it should be a two-way dimension. I love the fact that I was watching Ball Box. Uh, Ball Box, shout out. Shout out to uh, yeah, BN. Mm, I was watching Ball Box. Ball Box, one thing I came to learn about the second second episode, they were doing love, marriage, and all of that stuff. Uh, it was a conversation between PM, Mark Bull, and um, Washira. Shout out to them. They made it sound so accurate in saying that it should be like a hundred, a hundred, making two hundred, not like fifty, fifty, making a hundred. No. We should change that mindset, you see. Like, I'm not coming to complete you. 
remove that mentality of uh, from your mind i'm coming to compliment you i'm coming to push you more i'm coming to to add value in your life you get if you're constantly just adding to my insecurities adding to my self-doubt adding to my negativities i don't see the need of us being in that relationship because for example you guys have seen it quite well with today's society if somebody gets cheated on they don't have the will to move because at the end of the day maybe the guy is providing for your lifestyle maybe the guy is providing for what you have so you you kind of feel the need of just being there for the sake of the money for the sake of the that status you get and i feel like it's a thing that we really need to break yeah so me it actually shocked me that realization of i think i am more me alone than with somebody it's a bit scary yes you know it's something i'm working on but imagine to some extent i am a uh, I feel like it's kind of a good thing because that means I'll not just lower my guard for anyone. That means I'll just not settle for anyone, you see. Like when you're not meeting my standards, you're not meeting what I want, I will fight for you. And we will be on to the next one. So, baby thing, now that brings me to the main thing, the power of self-realization. When you come to understand yourself, it becomes so easy. In terms of what you attract, in terms of what you will take and what you won't take. And that's what okay, I usually say. Understand yourself. Understand your attachment style. Understand how you relate with people. There are people who do so well alone. There are people who do so well in pairs. There are people who do so well in feeling somebody feel low. You know, like the superiority in them coming out, that is when they do well. And such kind of people run the manipulative kind, you know. So when you don't really know yourself, it becomes so easy for you to get manipulated. It becomes so easy of you to get to get twisted in so many things that you do, really don't want. And that's why I keep saying, know yourself. Because once you know yourself, you won't settle for less. You won't take less, you know. Because you know your value and your value is equal to your worth. So anything that decreases your worth, you will turn it down because now it won't add to your value. Anything that decreases the value won't add to the world. So yeah, I am here to remind you to just know your worth, know your value, know you, understand yourself. Because one thing I'm happy of right now is, um, is the fact that I will not stay class. I believed in my early ages I used to in my early stages of dating, I used to take just anything, you know. Like, as long as you just give me the bare minimum, the conversation, uh, the conversation, the spending time with me, that was enough. But I was not keen to look at, aside from that, what else are you doing, like, according to actions, where you get. So, most of the time, when you are like, your action don't match your words, it now comes to a conflict because the guy is like, see, he told you I loved you. You see, I love you and I continually, uh, continuously tell you I love you. But now the actions are not matching the words. You personally don't feel loved because this guy is maybe giving attention to so many things apart from you. This guy is now giving you like what you need at the current time. You know, it doesn't have to just be like financial or anything it's all about some of us feel more loved when the lover is present you get when he constantly tells you like in your half and a half hour, like if they keep it in your ideas it's an added bonus you see but because that maybe feel so good when we do all that how do i call it exchanging of ideas uh, uh, uh. it's a constant like a hundred for me, like it's a bonus. Me actually, to shop travel, just know we are heading in the right path. You see, the fact that I'm able to be vulnerable with you, sit you down, tell you that this and this is going on. What do you think? When I consider your opinion, I'm done for you. I'm really done for you. So, 
some of us feel more appreciated when this is given to us more than that constant wordings. Hey, personally, I don't believe words nowadays because words and actions are two completely different things. Because somebody would be giving you the vibe that he wants a relationship, but the way he's acting, he doesn't make a hard way what our relationship is all about. And another one will be giving you FWB um, vibes, but at the end of the day, he's acting like you're his girlfriend and you're not. And now that is where the problem comes in. So I believe communication is so key. It's so, so, so key. Like, let at least your actions match your words. That is one thing I'll say completely frequent, frequent and frequent and frequent, yeah. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys I have learned something. This was more of a banter, self-realization banter. <laughs> I don't even know. But I hope you guys have uh, gotten something from this video. So yeah, like, subscribe, share with somebody. Send this to somebody so that they challenge themselves mentally because we need to change this headspace. We need to change how we think. We need to change how we relate with so many people. Because I feel like personally, uh, you know, you can't continue putting constant pressure on relationships not working when you're not putting in the work. You know, the work needs to start from you, then the other person, you say. But the other person cannot be all well, all fancy, all good if you're not good also because now I'm tough. Yeah, that's it. Bye.